Speaking of heat, the Osceola Fire Department is turning back the clock to bring back a valuable teaching tool. An old 1930s fire engine is now in the garage on loan, and they're hoping to keep it once they pay it off. They believe this fundraiser will be a gift that keeps on giving. To the state of Iowa and to Osceola, it's a phenomenal piece of equipment that needs to come back. Unlike this million dollar rig, This 1928 fire engine will not be heading out to fight fires anytime soon. But after taking a winding road all over the Midwest, the team still sees amazing value in bringing this vehicle back into the fold. We had an old 1947 truck, which was seen in a few of the pictures, and that was always the draw. Everybody went to see that truck, and I want that feeling to come back with this piece of equipment. Originally, Osceola only wanted this antique to pull it through town and showcase it for the 4th of July parade. But after a little research, they discovered something that showed them it was worth keeping beyond that. We found the seat tag that says City of Osceola from 1930 signed by the Commissioner of the State Public Safety from the State of Iowa. So at that point I knew it was our truck. The department agreed to terms with the current owner, $25,000 to bring it back home. And historically it means a great deal as well. It was bought after one of the town's greatest tragedies. Everything's based on traditions and history. To have an original truck that was purchased because of the loss of life of firefighters is a huge deal. Lots of parts are going to need replacing, but some pieces, incredibly, are still up to par. To hear it for the first time, that was pretty amazing. So, um, kind of choked up a little bit because it, it does work.